Tonight, a new form of cyber bullying that is popping up here in Connecticut. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. It's a smartphone app that has become very popular with kids in Brantford. And tonight, some parents worry about bullying via phone. We got this story through a report at News 8's Noelle Gardner has done some digging on this. She's live in News 8 Control. Noelle? Darren and Ann, the mobile app is very popular at Brantford High School. Nine out of ten students I talk to have the app on their phone. They tell me it's a cruel and embarrassing way to pick on classmates. A new tool for cyberbullying has made its way to smartphones of Brantford High School students. It's a mobile app called Yik Yak. There are no profiles, no passwords, and it's anonymous. Once you read it, it's just mind, mind shocking. Students tell me mean and cruel comments are posted about okay. their classmates on the wall. Those comments can be seen in seconds by students at other schools across town. We downloaded the app and found these comments. Stop sneezing like a cat. Dates the coach's daughter to get more minutes in basketball. And head to head in the battle for the best Snapchat nudes. Snapchat is another app that sends photos that self destruct. Mostly just about like people's private life. It's just hurtful things that people don't want to hear, and it's just bad. Those trolling the app can get live feeds of what classmates are doing. Just scam through it to see like, what they say. And what are they saying? It's just, it's like nothing good. Talk about the things you read on Yik Yak. Um, just like bringing people's personal lives into things and just nothing that needed to be brought up. The app is free to download, but contains age-restricted material. Are your kids old enough to use an app? Oh yeah, both of them are, yeah. And if they had this on their phone, what would you tell them? I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow it. The school superintendent says the school is taking appropriate steps, such as using a firewall to block use. But that does not prevent anyone from using their personal devices to access it. Some students deleting the app on their phone. But then it started getting mean, and I was like, no, I'm done with this, and I deleted it. And the school superintendent says the best solution is for parents to talk to their kids about it. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control. Noelle Gardner, News 8.